just saw a movie, but I forget what the name of it was. Devil's Carnival? Devil's Carnival. Okay. Well, my first thoughts on the Devil's Carnival, uh, upon seeing the production company, uh, which was titled Execution Style Entertainment, I thought, oh great, it's going to be Amateur Hour. These guys got their name from MMA Promotion Group or something. We're Execution Style, bruh! You know. Wasn't too impressed by that, but I have misjudged the company by its production. Can't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Whatever. I would describe this movie as a combination between like Silent Hill, very small, very small Silent Hill. Uh, Wizard of Oz meets Beetlejuice meets Forbidden Zone meets Suspiria. It looks good. The whole movie looks good. Had a lot of creative shots. I would say they did some cool stuff with color. And that was kind of neon. Very little use of CG, and the practical effects were mostly well done. The special effects were really cool. They had a really cool opening. The, the first transition from life to death in the movie was amazing. I loved it. It was beautiful. It was mind-boggling. It was like the boat ride in Willy Wonka, or the tornado in The Wizard of Oz. Or... Uh, there were very busty clowns. I felt kind of confused because we're looking at these busty clowns, and I'm like, I hate clowns but I could touch myself to pictures of these clowns because they're good and busty. So that was a little weird. I uh, didn't know how I feel about that. A lot of the clowns were female and they were fairly attractive. Had a lot of uh, corsets and whatnot, a lot of cleavage and... How did that lady sing in the corset with the stitches? It was so tight. Being a musical, um, I'm not really a huge musical fan, but all the songs were somewhat catchy. I actually enjoyed the songs quite a bit. Uh, I thought the lyrics were interesting. Um, at first I noticed some of the songs were kind of repetitive and they just repeated the same three, four lines over and over and over. 666. 666. 666. 666 Singing and dancing and clown tits uh, They were darkly clever and there were some very talented singers throughout the film Majority of the actors were better singers than they were actors The acting was okay. It was better when they were singing, but the question is How do you act bad when singing? The acting was overall very good uh, well, it was good enough. I don't want to say very good. What made the songs interesting was what was going on during the visual, you know, the visual element. The Satan dude was pretty awesome, and he had the best song ever, which was at the very end, the very last song. We've got grace for sale. How the worm is turning, turning. Lay you down to sleep with wicked little stories. Count your missing sheep. Shed my skin, my. F Every other song before that was just kind of, it felt like a theater song, nothing really special to it. Overall, the film was uh, very colorful, uh, very frantic, and a lot of fun. A lot of it was high energy, and uh, it was always visually interesting throughout. Visually, it was really well done. Makeup was really decent. Outfits were interesting and kind of unique. But the dialogue... It was really dopey in that it was kind of like an Occam's dialogue type thing where they went straight line, point A to B, started the conversation, ended the conversation. There was no in between, and it was very dreamlike. The acting was a bit exaggerated, but really no more than AR musical, and at no point did it ever feel especially cheesy to me. The editing was pretty cool in that contributing, once again, to the atmosphere of this dream state. And being like a creepy carnival, you know, devil's carnival, it was a really nice element the way they, they you know, put it together and the way it was shot, the lighting, um, some of the lighting effects. My general opinion of the movie, it was pretty good. It was weird retelling of Aesop's, so I didn't really gain anything new. It was like 
Aesop's Fables with Satan. All in all, I think it was a really good movie. Overall, I, my opinions on the film are very positive. I thought it was a very interesting film, and I would recommend seeing it. When the sky is dark And the moon of glow I did like that Danny DeVito uh, reprised his role as the Penguin from Batman Returns in the film. Lost a little weight, looks like he's doing good. 